This is a story about naming our dog, Ivy. That's me and my husband, Tim. We got married September 12, 2016. We decided we weren't ready to have kids yet, but a dog sounded like the perfect idea. Tim wanted a golden retriever, but I didn't like how much they shed, so we decided to get a golden doodle as a compromise. We picked a breeder from Jasper, Indiana, where my sister got her dog, and we felt confident with the choice. We got on the website and selected a female puppy who would be ready to come home at the end of May. We thought we were prepared, but the hardest decision was still to come. What would we name the puppy? My husband is a huge Chicago sports fan, so he wanted a name that reflected that interest. He suggested hundreds. Kaner after Patrick Kane. Walter after Walter Payton. I continued to calmly remind him that our dog was a girl, and those were boys' names. We enlisted the help of family and friends because we were disagreeing about all of them. Cubby, Addie, Wrigley, Peyton, Quinn, Hink, Maddie, Rosie, all sports names in some way. And the list went on and on. Every name I liked, he didn't, and every name he liked, I didn't. Who would have thought it would have been such a hard decision? thought going to meet the puppy would help us decide on the name, so two weeks before she was ready to come home, we went and met her. That just made things worse. So there we were, the day before our girl came home with still no name. We were prepared in every other way, but still had nothing to call her. We sat on the couch frustrated, watching a Cubs game. One of the announcers commented on the beautiful ivy that was growing at the outfield of Wrigley. That was it. Genius! We could call her Ivy! Armed with a name, we were finally ready to go pick up our girl. Now, here we are, three weeks later, and we're paying for what we did. Ivy is the perfect name for her, because her favorite pastime is to roll in hours in the backyard. She also enjoys anything to do with plants, including eating the flowers off of them and digging up our beds. Well, at least she's cute.